to another Minecraft Extreme Living episode. Uh, what's up, guys? It's John John. Um, real fast, I want to tell you um, before we get into the Extreme Living video, I'm going to show you something I've been working on today. Um, it is actually a zombie pig spawner, which um, also equates to a gold farm. <coughs> Excuse me. And so, um, I want to show you that real fast just because I'm really excited about it. I want to show you it. Um, so you're going to see me kind of go in and out of creative on this one, <coughs> excuse me, on this video, but just bear with me. I'm not cheating or anything. I'm just trying to show you this because I'm really excited about it. So the, I <coughs> sorry guys, I'm still recovering from a cold. It's been like three weeks now, but I'm alive and well. So anyway, this is kind of a, it's kind of like a, um, like a spawn of like an, like a spawner Etho made. Like something that he kind of came up with, but at the same time, I, it is like my own flair, and this is not the exact design by any means that he used. <coughs> Sorry again. <coughs> okay, just clarification. I am not dying. So those of you who have been watching these all these videos, don't think I'm dying. <coughs> I've just been like sick. Is I'll get out lately, and I'm doing better now. In Jesus name. Yeah, just pray for me. I'm, it's been a long, long time. But anyway, it's kind of a thing like Ethel made, but it's kind of something that I have put together myself. And in fact, I would say it's mostly something that I made myself. So I'm, I went ahead and just spawned these in, these pigment in here on creative, just for fun because it's quicker. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, did it because it's quicker. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm going to switch over to survival here in a second and I'll show you how it works. Um, the rates are actually pretty good from just what I've been, I mean, I've made it all today in a couple of hours. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, the, but from that little time, the rates were pretty good. Um, and so I, I really don't have a problem uh, with how it turned out. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty cool with that. But um, basically what it is, you shoot them with an arrow or something like that. And then they all funnel into this tube. And then from there they fall down and then take fall damage and die. <coughs> so I got really laggy right here, uh, just because there were so many entities, um, and also the recording makes it more laggy too. But um, they came down, they fall. I think in a second I should end up showing like what's down, like what it looks like when they fall. But they fall down. The XP stays in a generalized area. See right there, there's the tube that you can see them fall. XP stays in a generalized area. I can go get the XP, and I'm gonna show you in a second the system. How I what I use to collect the drops. <coughs> now to collect the drops, it's not the most efficient system, and there's still tweaks in the whole thing that I think I could make to make this much more efficient, um, and also just I mean, look better or whatever. But as you can see, I've got mine carts, and the reason why they didn't collect all that stuff over there, the drops, is because they're already full from another test that I had done before the video. But um, it's mine carts that um, are circling around, and they've got hoppers in them, and they just pick up the drops as they um, as they come and so you can it doesn't matter if it lands on the minecart because the minecart makes a loop um it picks them up and then you can be good you can also expand this and to have like maybe you want more um ability to hold um to receive drops you can add more minecarts in there <coughs> excuse me or you can um uh like for instance if you don't want all the gold swords or whatever you can put like gold nuggets in all the minecart slots like maybe one and then um, it'll the, that hopper cart will only receive gold nuggets because then it just fills and adds like stacks of gold nuggets opposed to receiving a new item completely um, and which is pretty cool I actually use that for a chicken farm design that I have that I'll show you guys later but there's a couple different things you can do with that to make it look cooler. Um, right now, as you can see, I'm actually going towards uh, the beginning of the Extreme Living episode, so I'm going to actually get to the action. Um, and today is a little bit different. Let me tell you about it. Today, I have to do some parkour over lava to get my supplies. And so the supplies consist of swords, armor, a shield, and a stack of golden apples, which equals to my food. Now... Sorry, I just coughed. I just found out I can mute myself. I was going to start doing that every time I cough. But um, with those things, I am um, going to be able to walk like I'm doing now um, to another location apart from the lava pit. And I'm going to have to slay probably about 100 zombies 
do I have armed? And <laughs> Thank goodness for mute buttons. But, um, um, I've armed these zombies. And so I've given them diamond swords, I've given them armor, um, and so they're not just your, <laughs> not just your, uh, average zombies. But they are definitely armed zombies. And so with the gear I have, I have to kill all those zombies, um, and... The 20, our normal 20 minute mark and so the, this episode um, actually has to be 20 minutes so in reality it's going to be a little bit less than 20 minutes I'm going to have to kill the zombies so as you can see I'm doing the parkour right now um, this was an optional parkour but I went ahead and did it I got the golden apples and I got the um, shield and I'm going to go ahead and just dump all my loot here I don't know why I did this on camera but I coughed and I'm back um, dump all that loot um, so you guys know I'm not cheating. You can see that my inventory is empty except for the things that I've gathered. And then I have to hop over this. So now the, the goal is if I die at all on an extreme living, unless, so on any episode, unless I specifically say otherwise, then it's over. So wherever I'm at, if I die, then it's over. Now, on this one, normally if you fall off parkour, parkour I would make it that if you fall at all, even if you live, um, you're done. But today, this was kind of a hard, um, well, not hard parkour, it's actually pretty easy, but um, it was going to be hard enough for me to kill those zombies. Um, I wanted to give myself a little, tiny little bit of uh, uh, a chance, like, so if I fell off the parkour and I didn't actually die, I'm back, if I fell off the parkour and didn't actually die, um, I would be able to just jump right back in uh, because I'm uh, not enjoying the thought of having to fight all those zombies. And so you guys will see if I can beat it. Um, I've had a really hard time with Extreme Living so far. We've only made one episode, and in that one episode, I lost. So right out of the gate, I lost at Extreme Living. And that really sucks because, like, that's an important one like that's my introduction to the series and then I totally lose to one wither I had really decked out armor I had potions I had good um, weapons all that stuff right here you can see my night vision wearing off <clears throat> so I actually fight the zombies with no upgrades which is pretty cool um, but I mean right out the gate I lost so that's frustrating but also if you have suggestions for what to do for the extreme living series please let me know because I end up making these up um, and I think they're, so far, the missions have been pretty cool. I coughed again. But, in reality, though, I don't want it to start getting boring. And so, if, if I enjoy it, but you guys aren't enjoying it, let me know so I can make some tweaks. And give me specific things. Like, if you think I should, like, have, like, a TNT run, like a custom TNT run, let me know. And then I'll, uh, even try to make it myself or whatever. So, the way I actually do these is I make them in creative and then switch over to survival. Well, I guess it's pretty obvious, but... Excuse me. Switch over to survival, and um, then play it. So right now what I'm doing on the screen, as you can see, is I'm surveying the area around it so you can see what my goal is. I have to kill all these zombies, so let's see if I can actually do it. While I am over here chopping zombies' heads off, uh, I want to talk about a couple of things that I've seen um, on Minecraft lately that actually really uh, were pretty uh, inspiring. And one was um, uh, Ethos Lab, um, his, well, I already talked about this, actually, but his um, uh, zombie pig spawner. And so the gist of it is that he built a, a spawner in the nether, so he's actually on top of the nether like I am right now. And he built it, it what was it? It was several thousand blocks. Um, it consisted of several thousand blocks. Um, just the platform where the zombie pigmen were going to spawn. And so he said it took him hours and hours and hours and hours of very repetitive, or repet repetitive, that's not even the word, repetitive um, block placing. So hours and hours and hours of placing blocks. And he made it out of quartz. And so how you get thousands of quartz blocks, I have no idea. I'm sorry I'm coughing. I'm going to get better. Next time I do a video, I'll be better. I'm back. But thousands of quartz blocks. And it's just crazy how he 
first of all, how he has the attention span to do that, but second of all, how, I mean, how long it took him to do that and how elaborate it was. But anyway, he made it thousands of blocks and then had it where it was a continuous loop. So, <coughs> excuse me, the agitated zombie pigment would come after him and make their little, like, their war snort. Like, the, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, war snort. And the ba basically what happens, if you don't already know, is that, like, you, um, if you hit a zombie pigment, they need pigmen within uh, 40 blocks of, each, of that one are going to begin to be agitated too. And so um, that's how that works. But if, for instance, a new pigment spawns and the pigment you've hit are already agitated, but you don't hit another one after the new pigment spawns, you know what? I probably shouldn't have made this video right now. I probably should have waited like a week to recover. Keep having to mute it. Anyway, if a pigman um, spawns um, a fresh pigman and you haven't hit anybody after that, um, that pigman is not going to be angry at you. But if it hears the, the quote unquote, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, the war snort of another pigman, then it does become agitated and it will chase you. And so what he did was he made it so big that as the pigment, new pigments spawn, the pigment that are already angry and coming at you, the new ones hear their snort and they become angry at you. And so it becomes a continuous cycle of pigment chasing you and then which equates to a uh, continuous cycle of gold nuggets and gold swords and uh, rotten flesh, whatever. And so there you have it, a continuous gold farm. And it was a very cool um, episode. I would definitely recommend you check it out. I don't remember the exact episode number. I may post a link in the description of this video so you can go check it out. But um, it's pretty cool. I think you would definitely enjoy watching. Um, and the other thing about what he did, which was pretty cool, was the fact that he um, uh, made it where he had like an XP elevator. And so basically what happened was the XP would be moved from the dead pigment up to the platform where he was at. So I still don't remember the logistics of how he did this, but he had the XP be moved on ice blocks um, and then move straight up to where he shot the pigment in the first place. And so he doesn't have to move to get all the XP, even though he's, even though he's 75 blocks away from where the pigment died. And so it's pretty cool. It's a very efficient system. Um, and I think, I mean, he even says that he got the ice block idea um, from someone else. So, I mean, it's not like he's, you know, completely came up with that. But still, I mean, he made it, which is hard. He acquired the materials on survival, which is hard. He added his own flair. So, you know, I mean, you know, look at it how it is. Um, so that was pretty cool. It's something I enjoyed. And, um... Another thing I enjoyed um, was another well, thing that I enjoyed um, as far as Minecraft goes that I've seen recently was Ethos. I keep talking about him, but his um, uh, Enderman spawner. And so the gist of that is really it's the same thing as the uh, zombie pigment spawner, but he's an Endermite um, in a minecart, so, but he has himself so protected so the Endermen that spawn go after it, but then they fall with fall damage. Excuse me, but it gets their only damage enough to where he can go down there and hit them once and they will die. And so it's a great XP form, which I actually think is even better than the uh, it's better rates as far as XP goes for than the uh, uh, pigment spawner he made. But the other thing too is that he gets so many Ender Pearls, it's not even funny. And so he has pretty much unlimited Ender Pearls, which is pretty unfair, I think. I mean, to be honest, I have to, I have to make a confession. In my main world, so the main series that I post here um, on YouTube, I still have not yet been to the, uh, the end yet. So I don't. I only have two Ender Pearls, and I haven't been to the end yet. And so, like, I haven't even found a stronghold. So, 
I'm, I'm not doing so great in that area. I've been building a lot and focusing on the little ones. But eventually I'm going to have to um, have to get to the end so I can be a big boy Minecrafter. Um, so those are just a couple things I've seen recently that I've really enjoyed on Minecraft. Um, real fast, I want to point out that I don't remember if it's... Has it already happened? I don't know. But there was one point in time during this episode that I almost, like, died. And I guess it's kind of a spoiler alert because that implies that I didn't die. And I guess go ahead and be full fun spoiler. I don't die on this side. I don't anymore. But um, I got down to like one heart. And it's those stinking, like, I think those little zombies might have had something to do with it. Like today in my, my main world, like I was just playing off camera. And I was going after, I don't know. And these two little zombies chased me, and I was in an unknown world. And I'm like, if they kill me, I'm in a bad spot. Like, I may not be able to get my items back. And I had, like, my best tools out, my best, uh, some of my best uh, uh, armor and all that stuff. And so I'm like, I cannot go down. And so I ended up, like, surviving. But it's those little, uh, those little zombies that are really irritating. I think Squishy called them teeny meeny, or teeny weeny meeny bee. So that's funny. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's just some stuff that I've been looking at recently. Just a reminder, feel free to send me questions or topics to talk about. Um, we've had people um, give me suggestions already. Um, but if you have anything else that you think um, would be cool to you know, just kind of talk about the past of time while you're watching my videos. Hopefully my videos aren't boring so we don't need to pass the time. But in reality, they may maybe you get a little bored. And so... Um, if, you know, just watching them and thinking for it. So, if you have something you think would be a good conversation topic, let me know. Um, I'd love to, um, you know, humor you, quote unquote. Um, so just leave it in the comments or comment on my Instagram. Um, which, by the way, everybody is welcome to follow my Instagram. Um, I don't post just about Minecraft, but I do post about Minecraft, so if you want to check it out. Um, it's, uh, JJCP1829. That's my Instagram. Her name's JJCP1829. It stands for John John Carmichael. Uh, P stands for Psalm in 1829, so Psalm 1829 is one of my favorite scripture verses. Um, so I recommend you check that out because if you need to read your Bible, read your Bible every day, kids. Um, and so check that out. Um, but check my Instagram out too. Um, it's got a lot of good stuff on it. If I do say so myself, and I'm kind of being facetious because I mean, hopefully it has some good stuff on it. But uh, of course I'm joking. But um, it's, you know, you can kind of see what I'm up, what I like, you know, what my, my normal life is like. Um, and so feel free to do that. Again, at JJCP1829. This episode is coming to a wrap. You can uh, watch me end it with um, a bang, um, if you will. And so we're going to blow some stuff up, which is the most manly way in the Minecraft video, which is to destroy everything. But uh, thank you guys for watching so much. We really appreciate it. Feel free to like and comment. Um, also, click that subscribe button. And please recommend, if you enjoy these videos, recommend them to someone else. Because, you know, obviously we're uh, doing it for fun. But uh, if people see them, that's kind of a good thing, too. So thank you for watching. Please uh, subscribe when people know. Thank you so much. We'll see you later. Holla!